Okay guys, it's me Ross and this is my OnePlus 15. I already make a video how you can convert it from Chinese color OS version to global oxygen OS version, but my device stays unlocked with unlocked bootloader and this is not okay for me. So I want to lock the bootloader, receive over the air updates and every banking application will work without any issues and even Netflix and so on. But the problem here occurs when you want to revert back to China color OS or you want to install a custom ROM or root your device. You can't unlock your bootloader anymore. This is it. If you lock it once in Oxygen OS, you can't unlock it. The only way to unlock it is use an EDL mod, but this will cost you around $100, which is not cheap at all. Okay, after all this being said, I just want to mention that my device is currently rooted at with an end with unlocked bootloader and I want to just lock it and remove the root. To do this, I will just reflash the clone script and the same script which uh, I show you in the previous video, I will just reflash it so the device will be fresh. After that, I will, I will download the OTA, the latest OTA update, and I will just apply it twice. Yes, twice. One for each slot, and after that, I will relock my bootloader. So, let's do this. Before I reflash the script of Koan, I will just remove all the accounts and all the locks from my device. Okay guys, my device was just freshly installed with Oxygen OS from uh, Color OS. I just uh, redo this and now I'm ready. Just uh, go to XDA. Okay, now this is the main thread. Just uh, read again this flush at your own risk. Please read. Let's scroll a little bit. My previous video is uh, everything from the previous video is still important here. All the drivers and everything. So keep in mind. But if you are here at a step where you already installed that uh, Oxygen OS, that means you are prepared with all the drivers. Let's scroll a little bit. It has even a section how to lock your bootloader. Before a locking bootloader, after locking bootloader, bootloader mode won't be available anymore and you and the only way to unlock it again is to EDL flush the phone back to color OS and use deep test up. Already mentioned that that will cost you around $100. Download the full auto, copy it to internal storage, place the OTA zip in the root of your internal storage, not main storage. Do not put in download folder. Activate airplane mode. Open local install. That means you should uh, enable developer options. I will go through that process. Repeat the auto installation after you are ready and install it. Just reinstall it one more time. And after that, relock the bootloader. When boot slots are on the same firmware, use fastboot to lock the bootloader. Fastboot flush lock. That's it. Now, let's go here and tap on that link. Select your device. In that case, it's OnePlus 15. Select the version you already have installed with uh, Super Flusher. Mine is global. But uh, if you are EU or India version, just keep in mind that and select the correct version and select get the final link and link will be generated. That's it. Just download it. I already have it on my computer, so I will just copy it to internal storage of my device. Let's do this. Okay, now it is copied to my internal storage. Let's go and check it. Open my files application. Tap all files and it should be here. That's the root directory of your internal storage. Not in download folder, not in any folder. Just in the main folder where it says all files. And now my full author. That's the name. I just put it. It will be with a name, just the numbers and letters. But the gigabytes are important. Just look at them. Now, when you are already here, just go in settings. Scroll to the bottom. About device, version, and tap seven times on the version number. 
you are now a developer that's important go back system and update now you have developer options a new section just scroll you can see oem unlocking is still enabled that means my bootloader is still unlocked scroll a little bit and here enable usb debugging the same is uh, valid give it that permissions the same is valid as previously you should have all the drivers installed when you enable that uh, developer mod now when you go in settings tap here on software update it will start checking for update we are with the latest uh, version but if you tap here you have now that option local install if you doesn't enable developer options it won't work but you are still not going anywhere just clear these settings from here and swipe down and now just enable the airplane mod in that way device can't connect to oneplus servers so when you enable airplane mod go in settings again system and update software update and now from here tap on the three dots remember before that you should be enable developer options select local install now tap on here and select oneplus 15 here are all your folders and this is our over the air update we just previously download in the internal storage just tap on it and it will ask you installation notes and so on you can read everything i will just hit install and it will start installing it guys this is a quite a big file because you already see it's 8.3 gigs so the process of installing won't be fast just be patient when the all the percentage is ready just hit restart now this uh, over the air update or maybe it's more correct to say it local update is already installed installed one time and we need to install it second time how to do this the same way airplane mode enabled go in settings your file should be in your uh, mine files directory if you doesn't change anything now when it's ready again hit the three dots software update if uh, that screen is showing you just go back a little bit hit the three dots local install select the same file it's nine gigabytes sorry and hit install again and keep in mind again the process will be slow just hit the restart button everything should be ready now for locking the bootloader again i want to remind you when you lock the bootloader everything from your device will be completely factory reset and also you cannot unlock it anymore i already comment why do should why this should be the problem but just keep in mind that if you want ever to install a custom rom or to go back to color os you cannot do this you need to pay for the edn switching to color os which will cost you a lot now just uh, to check one more time do we have usb debugging enabled yes it's enabled and let's check oem unlocking our device is still unlocked just connect the device select here the file transfer mode now let's move to our computer now we are on our computer we should write again the same command adb devices just to check we do we have a list of devices yes the drivers are correctly installed and the next should be adb reboot bootloader just hit enter here and device will be restarted to its bootloader or fast boot mode it should be in uh, fast boot not fast boot d let's wait it and now we are here 
Again, we need to check all the drivers are installed correctly and for that purpose we need to go here with that command fastboot devices just hit enter yes the command returns us uh, the number of the phone we are ready and the command for relocking bootloader is fastboot flushing lock that's it when you put that command just hit enter and a pop-up will prompt on your screen let's do this just hit enter and if you lock the bootloader you will not not be able to install custom operating system that's it here move the move with up and down volume lock the bootloader select it and confirm with the power button that was it this is the end guys no more unlock it the device just boot up and what i will do i will just uh, go through the setups uh, through the steps of set up the device and to we'll go to the home screen and now we are on the home screen of our locked oneplus 15. let's go now in the settings and scroll and check do we have any updates pending we can you, you can see we are using the same version version is up to date let's go for beta program no updates available yes this is it devices now with a locked bootloader you can start using your netflix and all the banking applications without any problem but while we are here i just want to enable usb debugging one more time and just go and show you why you can't unlock the bootloader again now i'm in developer mode let's go back system and update developer mode and usb debugging is yes it's enabled and you can see now oem unlocking stays marked let's go and hit on uh, my computer fast boot reboot bootloader and see can we go into bootloader or we cannot let's hit enter device restarts normally and you will even see here the fast boot mod logo will appear but the device was prevented to enter this fast boot mod and i yes you can see it just flush and disappeared that's it you can still enter in fast boot d but you cannot enter in fast boot that's the problem and i think that's what uh, that uh, deep testing application is doing on our device it's allowing us to enter this fast boot mode this is the problem my device is now completely global and i can start using it but i cannot revert back that was today's video thanks for watching and have a nice day